Hi everyone, this video will demonstrate adding products to your catalog. So if you go to start, catalog, manage products, that's what we're going to focus on in this video. Go ahead and click that and this is going to open up the product explorer. There are multiple ways that you can add products to your uh, catalog in SI 2016. You can add from uh, the library and there's three different options out here. We'll go ahead and show that one first. But you can also create items from scratch here. You can also import a spreadsheet of products if you would like to populate your uh, SI 2016 catalog. So the first thing we'll do is click this add from uh, button in the library section and that's going to open up the following window. The Add Products from Library interface will default to the DTools library of products, and those are products that are available to download directly from DTools. The list over here on the left will list the manufacturers, again by default, uh, that are available for download. Uh, your list may look different than this. Uh, it all depends on whether you have data subscription with us or not, and that is an optional um, service that we offer. If you don't have data subscription, um, you're only going to see partner products. So the list will look a little more like this. You'll see the little green icons over here on the left. And these are free for all of our users to download. Let's go ahead and uncheck that so we show them all. And um, you can change whether it's grouped or uh, categorized over here by manufacturer or by category, your choice. If you switch to category, you'll see a list of all the categories that are available for download. And then as you expand this, you'll see um, subcategories listed. And then when you click on this, um, let's say if we click on amplifiers, you'll get a little sub window down here then to search or filter down by manufacturer. So go ahead and switch this back to manufacturer. And we'll do a quick search here. Let's do uh, choose uh, screen innovations. When you click on that, it's going to uh, show you partner info. Um, so if a manufacturer is a partner of Details, you'll have this little screen here showing the partner info, but you can always click down here to get to the search results. And then if you'd like to filter further, you can of course search here within categories and subcategories, or you could do a search here, um, specifically within a manufacturer, or of course you can search for all products. And to download products, you can select a multiple at a time if you'd like. You can use shift uh, or control on your keyboard to select a series or outside of a series if you'd like to download um, products. If the products are already in your catalog, you'll see a little symbol here that says matched. And in this case, it's opening up the product editor for that because I clicked directly on it. We're going to close that out um, because that's directly in uh, my catalog. Now, new buttons are not going to link to anything. Um, they're just indicating that they're new. You haven't downloaded them yet. So if you'd like to download, say we'll download these two screens here, um, you can either click the download button or you can just drag these over and drop them in the download section and those two products are now a part of your catalog. And to edit the products you can either click the link here or you can close this window to go back to your uh, Project Explorer and edit them there. We'll go ahead and click one of these and show you um, some of the data that can download from DTools. You'll see that uh, a lot of products will have a JPEG image, uh, manufacturer name, model, category, subcategory, a URL. Um, here you'll see two different descriptions. Now the price tab here is what you're going to want to set. Um, this one came down with an MSRP. Not all products will. Uh, that's just a placeholder though. This really doesn't get used anywhere in the software other than uh, for calculating your cost and price if you decide to do that via a price rule. Um, so you'll enter your cost, your price. You can verify the phase and the hours. Um, if you recall from a previous video in this Getting Started series, uh, that every product you download from Details will be assigned a uh, phase and a number of hours. And you can change the hours if you'd like. And that is for charging labor when you add this to a project. Of course, you can check out all of the other tabs here too. But um, that's how you edit a product uh, that you've just downloaded. We'll go ahead and close out of there. Another option for downloading uh, is the extended library. And these are products that weren't input by Details. Uh, this is through a company called Edelize. And over here you can see uh, the default is to list here by category. And there are a ton of categories to search through. And you can find just about anything out here. Um, if you can't find it in the uh, Details library, come look in the extended library uh, for any sort of product. You can see there's even things like air conditioner, air filters. Um, a lot of products are out here in this Edelize library. Um, now, 
clicking on any one of these, let's say audio mixers, will of course show you the uh, search results here. You're able to, um, again, search within that category if you'd like to narrow down the search and then of course just either click the download button or drag over here to the download section to download these products. In order to have access to this extended library, you will need to be uh, on our data subscription service. A third option for downloading products is via Supply Stream. If you click this button here, this will open up the list of products that are available from Supply Stream. Over here on the left, you'll see a list of categories, and then once you click a category, you'll be able to filter further by manufacturer. In order to use uh, the Supply Stream download, you're going to have to register with Supply Stream. So if you click this button here, um, you're going to need to enter your key. And in order to do that, you can click this Get Started with Supply Stream to um, get a key from them. And once you're registered, you'll be able to download products. I went ahead and entered my key off camera and now I'm registered with Supply Stream, so you can then start filtering and searching. So we'll go ahead and just, you know, click here to Control Systems, and then of course you can search within Control Systems only, or you can filter further down here. Um, search by manufacturer, you can see there's a huge list out here. I'll go ahead and click right here to the bottom of the list, and now this uh, filter to this manufacturer. The Supply Stream um, download interface has a button over here uh, for suppliers and that's different than the other two methods for downloading and this is going to list um, the suppliers that um, you can download this product from essentially and that will give you a uh, cost on a lot of the suppliers so all of the other data that you would download from um, dtools or from the extended library m may have an msrp but that's it there's not going to be a cost but since these are directly from uh, suppliers uh, oftentimes there will be a cost associated with products so i'm going to go ahead and do a quick search here uh, within this manufacturer uh, to find the exact product that I'm looking for and what we have is this device here and if you click this button here for suppliers you'll see here um, it's showing the two that are available here and you can um, notice that there is a price here and you can choose which uh, supplier or vendor you want to um, download from. Now this is filtered here to uh, suppliers with a price. If you want to see the ones that don't have a price you can see them all here and you'll notice it'll let you know if they're in stock or not and if you want to download one of these you can select it and just hit download and that will become a part of your catalog. So those are the three ways that you can download data um, to your SI 2016 catalog. Let me go ahead and close out of this interface for now. Another method for adding products to your catalog is to click the New button, and that's if you want to hand enter a product. This will open up a new product form where you're going to fill in a manufacturer, a model, a category, of course for organization, um, an image if you'd like, and of course any of these other fields that you want to fill in that you feel are necessary for the product. Descriptions of course are good and your pricing here. So that's how you would add a new product that way. And um, yet another method for adding products to your catalog would be to import a spreadsheet of products. Um, so if you go here to the Tools menu, you'll see that there's an Import button here. And if you go ahead and click that, it will open up a window where you'll be prompted to select a CSV file. And it must be CSV format, and that is comma separated value. Um, it is a spreadsheet, but it uh, has this file extension of CSV. So we'll go ahead and select the sample one here, hit Open, and that's going to open up um, this map feature where you're going to map the columns in the spreadsheet to fields within SI. In this example you can see that uh, three of the fields uh, automatically came mapped uh, even though they're not the exact name. The uh, software has some intelligence built into it to try to figure out the most appropriate field to import um, the spreadsheet fields to. It didn't recognize this ID here so um, it's not mapped yet so we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to map that to um, the model number field. Go ahead and do this, hit OK. Now that's mapped to the model. Now if the uh, mapping is incorrect, of course, you could change that. If for some reason retail isn't MSRP, you could click this and either select another field or map it to none if you don't want to import that column. And you may find that's true with the spreadsheet uh, that you get from your uh, vendors or your dealers. Um, go ahead and click Next once you've mapped the fields. And uh, this particular spreadsheet um, did not have a manufacturer assigned to these parts. Um, so we're going to have to do that before we get any further uh, as far as the import goes. But you can get out of this wizard by clicking Finish. And that's going to open up a window here um, showing 
that there are four products in the spreadsheet. Um, now this little icon here um, indicates that there, it's inadequate data because we do require a manufacturer. It's also a good idea to assign a category for organization purposes within SI, but you can always assign the category later uh, back in the uh, Product Explorer. You can do a mass update. Um, I can also do a mass update here where I can select these, click mass update, and we're going to assign a manufacturer to these parts so they will actually import and this will become um, adequate data. Now you can select a manufacturer from your list and of course these are uh, the manufacturers that you have already in your catalog or you can create a new manufacturer. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll just call this manufacturer ZZZ. Hit save. Save that. It's been updated as you can see. We'll go ahead and close out of the mass update form. Now this is adequate data. And uh, the icon up here, or here, indicates that they, it's all new data. It's not uh, match data, which would be products that I already have uh, in the software. So um, this update, or this import, I should say, um, this import from CSV can also be used to update pricing down the road, too. In this example, we're going to be adding new products um, versus updating. So um, when you're happy with your import, go ahead and, well, first of all, select, let me see here, what I want to import click this import button and we're going to choose to import new products. At this point you'll be able to change your mind if you don't want to import uh, a particular um, field. In this case we'll let it go, hit OK, and those products have now been imported to your catalog. Go ahead and click that, we'll close out of that, and if you want to see your products of course you can come here and we'll just do a quick filter by manufacturer. Let's get down to the bottom of the list to pick the manufacturer we just created. And here are those products. You'll notice the category here is unassigned. So at this point, you could you know, do a mass update within the software here to assign the category. Um, we'll go ahead and double click this here. And you'll notice the price came in. There's the MSRP we mapped. There's the cost. The unit price will automatically default to the cost, but this is where you're either going to set a margin, a markup, or you know, even apply a price rule to set your pricing for your products. And that is how you add products to your SI 2016 catalog.